What's up guys, Justin here with TheCGEssentials.com back with another Blender add-on video for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out Pure Sky Pro, an add-on for Blender that creates realistic sky and weather inside of your models using volumetrics. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so you can download Pure Sky Pro in the Blender market. I will link to this in the notes down below. Um, so that's where you can get this. One thing to note, if you had Pure Sky Pro before and you haven't updated to the 4.4, version, you're going to want to do that because the 4.4 version really made this a lot easier to use. We can talk about that a little bit more in a minute. But basically the way that this add-on works is it has four different versions that come with different features. And so we'll talk about all of that in a second. But basically what this add-on does is it allows you to create realistic skies and weather inside of Blender. So you can create some really amazing results um, using this add-on. So a couple things to note. First off, it's not compatible with Mac OS. Um, they're not compatible with cycles either. But for the most part, you're going to want to use this in Eevee. You're going to want to read this just to make sure that you're getting what you want. But if we scroll down, you can see how um, they've got all the features listed out for the different versions, right? So in the light version, they have the sky. In the simplified version, they have the sky and the stars. The, arch the archivist version, they have pretty much everything except the rainbow and space. And then the space version has everything, including an actual like space environment that you can use. So scroll down through here, look at this. There's other things in here um, that are contained in the different versions as well. So just make sure to take a look at what's included in each of the versions before you select one. But now let's jump over into Blender and take a look at how this works. So when you install this, you just want to make sure that you have Pure Sky enabled. And what that's going to do in the 4.4 version is that's going to give you an option over here in order to activate and change the different options in here. This is a big improvement over the 4.3 version. But what you can do in order to activate this is just click on the button right here to activate. What that's going to do is that's going to bring your environment into the scene just like this. And so I'm just going to hit the home key in order to uh, match this camera view up to my uh, Blender screen. But you can see how this brings in all the volumetrics and kind of sets them up so that you can start um, kind of making changes with these. So if we look at this, there's options down here for different sliders that are gonna do different things, right? So there's options for animation values. There's options where you can adjust your sun angle or your time of day. So notice when you adjust your time of day, um, that's gonna move your sun and you're gonna get different effects based on that. So you can use that in order to set uh, morning, evening, you know, whatever. All right, and so one thing you might notice is your pure sky cam and your blender cam kind of give you different results. A lot of the reason for this is actually the clipping that's contained inside of your camera. So when I click on the pure sky cam, if we take a look at the settings in here, so we're just gonna select that camera, notice how the clipping is set where the clipping starts at 10 meters and it ends at 40,000 meters. And so basically what that's doing, and let's go ahead and um, zoom in a little bit. Basically what that's doing is that's clipping things out that are close to your camera. So all those volumetrics aren't actually blocking your camera in your scene, right? And so that's why you have an option in here to set your pure sky camera to 10, 100, or 500. Basically what that's doing is the closer your clipping is, the grainier you're going to get in your image because some of those volumetrics are going to block your camera. Well, when you jump to your blender cam, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you set your clipping for that blender cam to be something like the clipping for the pure sky camera is set up to. So, for example, we would want to set our clipping here to be 10 meters um, to start and then something like 40,000 meters to end. So notice how then when we do that, and we might even want that clipping to be a little bit higher. So we might want this to be like 100 or something like that. And we also want to adjust our focal length. So I'm going to set my focal length to something way wider. So um, where it starts is it starts at like 50, right? And it's like really zooming in on this. What, what the other camera does is it has a high focal length so you get a little bit wider field of view. So there are some kind of funky camera things going on here. But notice how when you adjust that focal length and you're clipping, then you start getting the same result for your cameras that you will with the Pure Sky camera. Alternatively, it's probably going to be easier to just use the Pure Sky camera to create your views. And so let's jump back to our pure sky cam right here. And so let's say we wanted to create an animation, right? Well, what we could do is right now, we just want to set a base keyframe 
um, and usually I just set the animate value um, that kind of handles this the best but we're just gonna set the animate value to something like 0.25 and then at like frame 60 we want to set our animate value to something like 0.75 and I'm gonna hit the button right here to keyframe that and basically what it's gonna do is it's going to animate the transition between those different points right so if I click and drag this you can see how my Sun's going up just like this and you can get some more fine control over that like for example let's say that you didn't want your clouds or your fog to be quite so strong you could kind of bring those down a little bit but then let's say you wanted a little bit more fine control you could also adjust the Sun angle in here so see how the Sun will move left or right based on this so we can move this over we can just keyframe that Sun angle in here as well and so notice how when I click play um, right now it's not updating as quickly when I click play like live inside of Eevee um, as when I click and drag this so I think it's gonna render out fine but it is a little bit interesting that when I click the play button it just kinda works on the fog here um, frame by frame but you can still use this to create an awesome animation of the Sun moving just like this and so there's a bunch of other things you can do too so you can adjust um, your different settings so things like you can turn your exponential fog up so you can make things look foggier you can adjust your atmospheric fog as well as things like your wind direction for your clouds um, other things like that so adjusting these is really easy inside of the sliders over here notice how you can set this to look a little stormier if you decide that you want to do that so there's a lot of different things that you can do here so another cool thing to note about this is when you are messing around with your time of day so if you get this into nighttime so notice how right here this has a Sun that sits off in the distance but if you keep dragging your time of day up until you get into the evening notice how things are gonna get dark and then the moon is actually gonna come out and you're gonna get the same kind of look with the moon so you can use this in order to create an evening scene with volumetrics as well and notice how you can adjust these a little bit more by going into the world settings or clicking on the drop down right here and selecting pure sky pro and so you can adjust the different things in here by doing this so like for example you can adjust how full the moon is you can adjust the moon size all of those things are adjustable in here um, just by kind of playing around with the different settings that are contained inside of this add-on all right so that's where I'm in this video leave a comment below let me know what you think about pure sky pro I will link to that on this page as always thank you so much for taking the time to watch this I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video Thanks, guys.